sports fans, welcome to Robert's Sports Show. I'm your host, Robert. The 2016-17 NCAA football season is about to begin for actually two teams that already began for Hawaii and California and already began. One thing I've noticed with the preseason rankings coming out, it's a lot of teams, uh, you know, the Floridas of the world, maybe Ohio, you know, Iowa, some of the teams that are toward the bottom of the top 25 or even right outside of the top 25, like Wisconsin, they have to not only win out, they have to have a lot of help in order for them to get into the playoff. So I came up with a scenario that would help and basically get rid of the rankings because, you know, just like I've done rankings last year on Robert Sports Show, what I perceive as a team that is higher than another team is different than what somebody else perceives. So what I came up with is a way to get rid of the rankings. Let's go to like every other sport in the world does. Let's have conferences, regions, divisions, etc, etc. What I came up with is two regions, eight conferences, so four conferences per region, 16 divisions. So what would happen is for your playoffs each year. The regular season would be to consist of 11 games. You play, so each division consists of eight teams. So you would play seven teams out of your own division. You would play four from the other division. The following year you'd play your seven division rivals and the other four from the other division. So in a four year span, you'd rotate home and away. So in a four year span, you would play your own division four times. You would play each team in the other division twice, one at home, one on the road. You would play two home games, two road games versus your own division rivals each year. For the playoffs, your all your all your division winners make playoffs. Boom, that's your playoffs. Your 16 playoff teams. You would have your conference championships, so both division winners in the conference versus each other. You come up with your conference championships. So you have Eight conferences. So out of those four games, so you would have the two regions, the West region and the East region. So you would have your four West region conferences and your four East region conferences. That's, you know, you rotate, you know, like for the West region, for instance, you have a Southwest division in their conference, a Pacific conference, a Mississippi Valley conference, and the Midwest conference. In the East region, I have the New England Conference, the Great Lakes, Southeast, and Atlantic. So you'd rotate one year, the Southwest plays the Pacific, Mississippi Valley plays Midwest. The next year, you would do Southwest, Mississippi Valley, Pacific, Midwest, etc. You'd rotate who would play who. Then you would have your regional finals. So the winner of those two games match up. And then you have that way you have your regional winner and your regional winner. Each regional winners play in the national championship game. So your playoff format would go, your division winners, eight games, so 16 teams. Conference, eight teams, four games. Regional, two games. And then national championship, one game. Now as for your bowl games, all these playoff games can be considered bowl games. For the other bowl games, because of the money involved, the best record of each division not in the playoffs so you have 16 divisions, you take the best record in each division besides playoffs, so the number two team in every division, they make your bowl games. You have eight bowl games that way. So you get the seven regular, 11 regular season games, most you would play is four playoff games, and then the people who didn't make the playoffs would go into the uh, bowl games. Now I have all 16 conference, all 16 divisions here listed out. I'm not going to bore everyone with reading them out loud. What I will do, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put them in, list them here in the video so you can see which conferences, etc, etc. I figure having it this way, not only do you have, you know, the, the conferences are based, are based on the regions. So like for instance, one here is Southwest Division, uh, or Southwest Conference, East Division, you have all the Texas schools. Um, you have, like for instance, the 
South East Conference, in their East Division, or South Division, you have all the Florida schools, plus like Georgia. It's all based on regions, so that way if you have these student athletes playing their games are closer to where they're from, the only one they're, they're out of school lasts, they're getting a better education, which as you've seen in the news here lately, some of these student athletes aren't really going to class, they're just you know getting by the, because of the football part of it. I think it would help when it comes to, because there's a lot of people not happy with the preseason rankings, they don't think it's fair. People don't think any ranking is fair. You have the playoff committee, um, so you have a ranking each week, but then after six weeks, eight weeks, whatever, the playoff ranking starts coming out, the playoff ranking is a little different. But then if you're a school like a Big Ten school, and you say, for instance, Ohio State versus Iowa, if both teams are undefeated, in the Big Ten Championship game, the winner of that goes on to the playoff, typically. Uh, if you're the Big 12, you don't have a, have a conference champion, championship game, so you're the fine conference champion, so you're kind of left out. So how would it be fair for, say, I, the Iowa Hawkeyes last year, actually, their only loss was in the championship game of the Big 12, or the Big 10, excuse me, but you might have a two-loss Pac-12 champion go to the playoffs, here they are with one loss, lost in the championship game, they're, they're not. I don't foresee the current format having two SEC teams or two Big Ten teams in the Final Four. This is the way you, you settle everything on the field, everything's handled on the football field. So uh, take a look at the uh, divisions and the conferences and etc. If you got any uh, comments, please comment below. As always, thanks for watching Robert's Sports Show. Don't just have an American night. Don't just have a great night. Have an American night.